few. This week. Yeah, this one's a co-host. That's, that's Edna. Oh, okay. And he's not muted. Okay. This week. This one's a co-host. That's, that's Edna. Okay. I think we did mention it the first time about three rules of three model history and shit. But we have followed up on it because I want to look at it. I want to be sure it comes right. I don't understand it. At one time, 16,000. Another time, 7,000. I don't understand it, but I just want to look at it and what will be coming. But from now on, $35,000 will automatically be transferred over so the money is there and we will not be overdrawn. Go on, uh, Mr. Hyde. All right, so uh, total current assets six 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 hundred sixty thousand nine hundred thirty one and uh, ten cents in total six assets uh, five hundred ninety nine thousand seven dollars and eight cents for so total assets of two hundred sixty thousand and for our total equity and liabilities one million two hundred sixty thousand. Any questions about the balance sheet? Any questions? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, we can move on. All right, to the treasurer's report uh, on page 15, here's an income summary graph that illustrates uh, percentage of our revenue coming from property taxes, 80.97% of it. Revenue 16.77% and 2.25% for grants for the total revenue of 886,902 and 16. Page 16 is our expense graph. It shows the percentage of our expenses coming from operations, 77. 48 percent professional service 10.41 percent election 5.99 percent debt service 4.92 percent capital improvement 0.61 percent and other operating expenses 0.6 percent total expenses of 972 
There's no specific line item that still is captured on the summary of operations. Sure. Any other questions or comments? No. Uh, Ms. Collins. Mr. Hart, do you have any thoughts? I do. Let John go first. Okay. Any other questions or concerns? Not, I'll entertain a motion to accept the finance report and make a motion to accept the finance Any questions or discussion? Okay, now, um, Mr. Harden, I usually excuse you. But I really need you to stay because on our agenda is approval of this type of services on the board. Mm -hmm. And I really need you to stay in case some questions and things come up concerning you. Sure. Okay. I think so. Okay. The chair report. Under the chair report, um, uh, Vice Chair Pinion. Has brought a project to us, which is called the Net Project. And we have also worked on trying to get the outside um, process or whatever fixed, because part of that would have been to allow homeless people to be, to be able to take a shot. However, in talking with um, Mr. Earl, I found out that it was changing. So, Perry, do you want to share anything and update? So, it's a uh, project project that's going to be Recording in progress. We need to give the uh, resources closed and move the child's work. So it has been moved to Austin's church on Sunday West Pike Street. Uh, so we need to get on to the project. Okay, any questions about that so we don't need to bring it up, discuss it, and talk about whether we want to do it or not. It's been moved to the option. Yes, well, but the library is going to so. Well, Miss Ian, Miss Hatch, was the one that talked to me. What is it? 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 I'm just making a comment. I mean, you've already done it, so I'm just making a comment. I didn't do anything. They chose that. I didn't do that. Would you say Karen Copeland to go to the office? Because that's not the case. Because that's not the case. 
when we had time to send you that special one for that last year of the year. And so that was totally what you need back then, but we also went to the same So that's how it was. This is the great catch for the special community and about that in the library. That was the one that was. Which is what I was saying. So what would you like to do? I'm trying to, I'm just thinking that in the future we do things like that. Because we do have a board, and it should come before the board and have a conversation about it. Okay, we thought we were going to have a conversation about it in terms of being involved. This happened before our next board meeting, so I will see to it that that happens in the future. Any other discussion on that? Any other discussion? Okay. Um, also, um, under the chair's report, um, yeah, thank you. Um, we, we had a wonderful. Wonderful Juneteenth um, celebration. It was awesome. Even though it rained a little bit, but it didn't rain out. Um, and I'm glad the children had a wonderful time. Um, we liked the petting zoom, but we were a little concerned about the coming out. Part of it. But the children seemed to enjoy it. We gave our books to all of the children who attended and everything. About how many do you think we had attended um, that night? Just um, ask me. Um, Twenty-eight to thirty. Twenty-eight to thirty. Okay. So, that came to the I think it was more than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was quite a few people here. Quite a few people here. And we have an upcoming event, the closing of the uh, reading program. And Edna, we want to get out of a robot call about that event, so we can get out as many people as we can to the closing event. Um, <coughs> so if you could um, do a robot call on that to get as many people out as we can, it would really be appreciated. The other thing under my report, um, and it was a result of the kind of service that we got from our present lawn service. Uh, we had a storm and branches fell down and everything. They were contacted to come and cut up or do something about the branches because we were trying to move by uh, the outside. And I was not particularly impressed with their response. And we had to call in some other people. And we needed uh, branches and some other things cut down where the pony ride was going to be. And I was not particularly impressed with their response. They said they were busy. And some other stuff. So, I personally want us to reach out and get some words from some other people because if they that busy, they don't need our words. Um, Rosie, I don't know if you want to add anything to that money for it. Making making a difference in terms of family. We also learned them to come in and more lines. Mm -hmm. And we can learn that too. So we did a cost my lesson, that's really good. Mm -hmm. 
one of the things I've said before, um, is that every March, every vendor is supposed to come in and do a presentation and determine whether or not their services will be continued or not. And that has not been the last So I just think that the debt review for the committee has been a contract and to send it to everybody so they can take a look at that. And so I think we should post it. So we get some proposals from us because of the way that we and weren't they also planning plants and flowers? For us in the first four and the first Okay, do we have anybody else want to make a comment? Yeah. But Mr. Winton could present a proposal. Mr. Jonathan was the one that came to our rescue. And I think we should give him an opportunity to present a proposal to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Winter. Yeah, it's been mentioned to him. So what I have to do if Edmund and I is that we have to put our uh, our LP and allow other people to put in a proposal. And we will encourage Mr. Jonathan and Mr. Bean to submit a proposal. Anything else about that? But I was really worried that those people weren't there. To come in and hear these branches all over our, our yard, and um, they weren't willing. And then, where the ponies had to be, it was stuff that needed to be cut down for the pony lines. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was disappointed that they weren't willing to come and help us with an emergency, this, you know, position. So I'll get with uh, Edmund and we'll put it out and we will encourage Mr. Jonathan and Mr. Edmund because Mr. Winton does do line services already uh, for commercial properties and stuff. But Mr. Jonathan also does stuff in tuning up uh, branches and trees and Stuff that is falling down and he does a magnificent job. Anything else we want to bring up the side? Okay, I'll get with it and we'll get that done. I don't have anything else. I'm going to cheer some people. So we will go to the interim director. I don't know Okay. And I want to say why he's going over there to do that. Edmund has really been working very well with me in terms of getting things done, getting things out there. I think there are people who might have felt the library doors don't be closed. The door has not been closed. 
We have continued the services and everything, and he has done a magnificent job in helping me to keep things clean. And I really appreciate it. Okay, <coughs> Mr. Richardson. I just have a few updates here. So the first is the interview. I met with um, Steve from the and he looked at the equipment that's out there. Still, you have to take pictures of the information that is outside the boxes. Research, but some of it was that he didn't know. And then he went into the uh, kitchen. He said that if we're just looking to install the equipment, that we may have a problem installing all of the equipment because mm -hmm. uh, it appears that there's more equipment out there uh, that was purchased that was. Mm -hmm. And he said that uh, if we wanted to maybe use some space in the middle of the kitchen, like an island. Then perhaps, because um, there are two ovens out there, first of all. Oh, no. Right. There's two ovens. Right. So, anyway, we looked at that, and uh, he's going to get back with me. You know, what he talked as far as the uh, information. So, that's some of the stuff that he was doing. He said it also may require uh, an additional electrical outlet or hydraulic on the gas line as well. He said that he wanted to know um, what our plan was as far as the layout of the design. He said that he needed um, more guidance as to. And so, um, 
when I got that, somebody got on the elevator, and um, I think it was you, and it didn't take you where you wanted to go. And I said, don't you want me on the train? And then you didn't hit. And somebody said, don't get there. And I'm going to go there. And so there is a reset lever in the elevator control room. If somebody gets stuck, you can use that elevator, use that lever to get the door open and get the person out. Well, um, after it got stuck, one time nobody was in it, you used the um, lever there and it started going again. But I called the company and they said, oh, well, no, it should be working. I said, no, it's not working. So they said they would send someone out to him. So it was going again for a few days and um, stopped again. So we used the lever again and it seemed to go all right again. And um, this last time, uh, we tried to bring a refrigerator up on it and it stopped and we couldn't get it to go. The refrigerator up did not just burn. And um, we were supposed to send somebody out today. So, uh, still wrestling. Um, the summer reading completion party, that is not going to be on the last day of the summer reading program, well, which it never is. Uh, participants of the summer reading program have until that last day to involve their reading or complete activities so that they will qualify for prizes or whatever. So we don't have the money. Uh, so the party is going to be on uh, the 28th because we already have um, some other programs going on that day that we would like to perform. There was uh, a reservation made for uh, Guys or something. I didn't uh, contact them. Tended to not get them. I left a message with them, and I was going to send an email to uh, change that. Um, the driver assistant positions. I just want to be posting for those positions, but we need to do a few things in the house before we uh, make sure that everybody has a working uh, workstation uh, and a couple of other things. Which is in progress, and I'm hoping to post those in about a week. Um, yeah. This elevator company is required that we send them the total check 100%. before they would come out here and do the work. Yes. Now we get this stalling from them in terms of coming out here to do the work and they've been paid. They have been paid. They have been paid the whole amount. $3,500. Now, I don't know if I need to call them. I don't know what. But they need to get their behinds out of here because they got our money. Yes, that's true. And do what they're supposed to do, or else I'm going to try to take them to small plane for them. Because that's wrong. I never heard of you get all your money in advance before you would come out and do any work. And that's what they did to us. So they should be coming out here just like that in terms of making any repairs. So you call them one more time. See what they're doing. They need to get their behinds out of here, or else you're going to have to deal with them in a different manner. Because it's not right. It's not right what they're doing with us. Not at all. Um, go ahead. I can't hear you. Can I Whatever we have to do, because it's wrong. Well, we got to do something. We are not going to take uh, they may come or they may not come. 
We're not going to accept that. But they didn't come. So we're going to have to do what we have to do to put pressure on them to do what they're supposed to do. Because we have to make provisions for handicapped people to be able to get to the different parts of the library. The day that uh, Obi comes here to uh, do his vaccination, uh, birthday, Obi mm -hmm. had to pay to be a He couldn't use his hair to come back into the shop. Uh, How did that turn out? It turned out well. We got a lot of people um, in the beginning. They were here about four hours, I think. And um, the first hour, they were people. I would say, I would say probably <laughs> I mean, it's not it wasn't locked. It's not one. Yes, that's also awesome. Would you get somebody to look at that? Certainly. Anybody else have some questions they want to ask of the director? Rosie, you have a phone Adam Payne, and he did have one of his guys try and replace um, the ceiling, the ceiling tiles in the uh, building. And what? And what uh, it didn't work out. It didn't? No. So we have to get it. They took, they took the one that I put together. And then they were going to put another one in the back. So we have to get different countries. We have the um contractors in the yes, Rose. No, oh no, so yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. All the different things that keep happening.
get work together with some time the major issues in the library so we can attack them pieces by piece without having somebody say we outsource or something or attacking the library and we're trying to reach them. That's fine. Yes, of course. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Give me one else, Rosie. Please, we'll turn something back. What you say? Well, on. You said, I mean, and I corrected myself. I said, my mistake. I was, but I was, it was actually the air conditioning I was referring to. I confused the air conditioning that you guys had fixed with the roof. So I talked about it. Okay. So I, I apologize. So I took that forward. I typed that back. But I was, what I was asking was, I should have not mentioned a physical, a, 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 um, a figure, but I should have just asked if it was put together with the mm -hmm. problems of sending the library so that we can do it piece by piece. I'm just trying to make it smooth, no more for goodness or issues. That's why. There, so there, was, there was one, but yes, I do. And I, again, I apologize. But there, there was a, a, a list of things right over the thing, but the time was put on. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, you said we could put some. That's all I wanted to list. I just don't want any more. I don't want a fiasco about every little thing. We got six months. I have to stick with this. Thank you so much. Anything else? Uh, that would be right. Our next thing is a presentation about uh we have a vote for three months. Oh that's right. We vote for three months. I was way out three days. I forgot. Yes, ma'am. Uh you have to come up. Okay, uh I need a motion to approve the interim directors to make a motion to approve the interim directors. Is there a support? Yeah, it's your first. Well, I, I, since I've started that, I think that I'm No, you have to be a the board of the board of the Okay, I'll, I'll go back to the chair's report. I make the motion to approve the chair's report as a board. Okay, any discussion or questions about my report? Yes. 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 Okay, now the directors report the interim directors. I mean, Any questions or discussions? Okay, well, I have a Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we're going to go to a proposal and presentation. Uh, they had it here last week, uh, but we didn't have a chance. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to the um, Vice Chair, Terry Earl, and then we can involve two months with this. Is there a light on there where they are? Um, so they are so dark in the presentation. Okay. 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 Yeah. It's on page 18. The presentation. You haven't read this with your hands. Took a couple of pictures just to see to show. What's this? This is on the side of the pavilion. These are all. Oh, okay. uh, first off, we have uh, 60 pre med students coming from Oakland University to help us with this project. Uh, we have three days uh, Saturday, uh, it's 
upcoming Saturday, September, uh, August 27th, and September 11th. So, what we would like to do here is to take these meetings out starting Saturday and the time is all now. No cost. That, everything that we're going to talk about tonight is no cost to the project. That's good. So this we're just gonna clean up the weeds. We're gonna use some vinegar to get rid of it for the rest of the year. That's no need. Gonna we'll get some what? Just use some vinegar to get rid of the weeds and the cracks. Vinegar, get rid of it. Yeah. So you don't have to get around that. Oh, no. no, I mean you can't. I can still say. <laughs> Next picture? Yes, sir. Same with here. Uh, we would like to take the blocks and put them in place and something that we also try to do as often as we would like to restrike the parking lot, the red line. I was just going to say that's something that's been taken away. Oh, no, we got it. We have a couple of years. All this stuff. Only thing that we're doing is the unification of volunteers. And then we would have companies come in that's in the community that will do the work. Okay. There is nothing that's done because we're having volunteers. If you'd like for them to sign up their volunteer intent, no, not the volunteers. They're volunteering. The, the companies are volunteering their time to do this. So if, if you would like them to sign something, they can sign it. We presently do not have the exact bids done yet because we need to get permission to do this. Well, we need to get, we will need to get bids because I'm not going to actually come and stripe it. I don't know if their bid is, is uh, competitive. So I want bids like you get quotes so, so that we know how much it costs. Where's the money coming from? The money will come from us and a couple of the downtown bids. They already have no money. So I can't ask Karen Jorgensen to donate money if I don't know how much money I need. So this is kind of in the works right now. We. We had a short period of time when I had the 60 students that yeah. said that they could come, come and help. And I thought, you know, we've got this wonderful opportunity. I didn't want to say, hey, no, we don't have anything to do. So for them to come and start at the library, because I think that it's the entrance to the downtown. And it also is probably the most important building in the downtown is our library. So that's why we thought we would start here. And at first we thought we only had 30 students. But we have 17 planters that need to be addressed. We've got trees that need to be trimmed. We have um, a lot of the area where the pine trees are. It looks like it hasn't been attended to in a long time. So we just need to get it spruced up. The other things that we talked about is um, metal growing and a list of things that we, we did. Just go to I, the, I wrote just like, yeah. a line by line. So we're going to remove the broken barricades. I have a company, if it's okay with you, that will take them because uh, DPW said that they're of no use, they can't fix them. So we have a lot of barricades um, that are just all over the, the area. We've got rusty chains. We also have construction uh, barrels. That and then this picture right here, we just want to get rid of the weeds and get inside of the pavilion. We need to get all this out once again, bring it inside. So we just want to beautify this. And then right here, our plan is okay to go. Put a tarp over this equipment. Oops, sorry. Um, we also, and, and this again is not something that's going to happen with this beautification. Yeah. But we, we like, only plan to start off with the beautification. We can't move forward with the signage or get a new tenant to the, the property without a tree tie being involved. And we got some gaps to it. We're just telling you what we plan to do. Only thing that we plan to do. The start one is the beautification process, which is flowers and cleaning up. 
and some of the other things that we talked about that might be a nice project is once the pavilion is up and ready to be used, that might be a good way for income for uh, if nonprofits want to come in and use it, <coughs> then half a portion or whatever portion the board decides. Yeah, uh, we out to I was just going to say, I believe I, I said to the board before, uh, you know, the taking plan that we originally put in place on the last board, yeah. as far as the use and, and so forth. So, would you be saying to them that the city of Chicago would go back? So, what we, it's, it's nothing to do with that. Yeah, no, so what we talked about is just originally just bringing back the campaign. That's it. That's all the fact that we said it's a good portion of the money that's the library and have to advance. I'm saying I brought that up before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that same process and, and pull out the information that we had before. The people that were using the building put it in So we talked about too, maybe straining lights up so it could be used in the evening for events. Maybe the picnic tables could be spruced up a little bit and have a competition. Where um, you take some of the key local peers in the city of Pontiac who are into art and maybe because they've been the same type of spouse as you, maybe do some art for them and uh, put it in the cost. So that's up to the board. That's just an idea. All these are ideas, though. It's on this paper. These are things that we would like to do better. Um, and, I, and I already have uh, a local business friend who. Uh, has committed two hundred and fifty dollars for the contest for the children. So uh, he's uh, I just uh, talked to him again today for to tell him to present this. Um, another thing that I thought would be wonderful in my mind is to uh, use the one wall where the canvas Pontiac uh, canvas is located, move it over to the next wall, and then possibly put uh, a banner up saying, uh, welcome to downtown Pontiac, welcome Motor Bella, welcome something. So that when people see this big banner, they know that they're coming into the downtown until we can get the funds that we need to have a nice, beautiful welcome sign. Much like what's across the street, they have a, but across the street uh, where the senior um, high rise center is, they have a beautifully landscaped um, signage uh, for their Facility, so I thought that would be something that we we've been missing. We really need something to draw your attention. Most of the, the person that's doing most of this work is Charles O'Neill. Just push over. Charles O'Neill. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, yes. okay. so, James. Um, so they, they'll remove the um, metal, the debris. Now, what is that at? This is on your way. Okay. Go ahead. No, no, no. This, is, this is where the uh, storage is. So we was hoping that, like Mr. Richardson said, we could have this stuff. Oh, that's in the back back. Yeah. So what I was yeah. suggesting is go to Richardson and whoever else can kind of go through it and tag it. Trees next to uh, the pancake pavilion. Um, and they had all the controllers that someone had came out and put it previously. And you can put it again, and maybe you can put better soil there or put more stuff. That's part of the problem is all of this stuff was done before, but now um, where they just kind of been wax and then not thinking all these boots at the Well, oh. you, yeah, we had some other ones, and I'm not sure I didn't get in here, but you, you can see the, the designation of the parking spots, you know, it's almost gone. So, um, I think just painting in the lines will make it yeah, yeah, yeah. better. Right here. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it's right. on it. Let me okay. see if I can get it. Oh, there we go. But we need to get it flowers for the summer. I said we need to have them while we need to reach the end of the year. So we have to plant them. I did have that conversation. Yes, you did. Well, they'll be ready for planting. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. So my problem is, you guys want us to give them seven tax for seven times ten. It says move seven tax for It says right here at the sign Kanye got your appreciation. It will concourse extending the offering of approximately seventy parking spaces between the days of the twenty first and twenty fifth. So what they do first phase? What phase? Follow on. Question is this, 70 times the seven parking lots, says seven parking lots times 10 is 700, 700 times five is 3,500. That would be capital that we would actually gain. So why would we give away that money that should be used to go back in there and get the three parks? How would you gain the capital? Because if we charge for parking at, at there will be no parking space left because you can't park on a certain area, then people will pay to know the park for 70 times 10. And 700, 700 times five days is 3500 So why would we give them that? Well, here's what, 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 yeah, no, it's a, it's a good question. It's a good question. Um, I did the numbers on what, and I presented this last night, Melanie, I'm going to read to you guys it last night at the um, city council. So we have an organization that doesn't have to include us at all. They are completely self-contained. Okay. So since it appears that other organizations have made some very um, direct requests uh, to be paid for parking, um, as opposed to saying, we want to be a part of possibly ensuring that this motor bella continues be indefinitely. Captured. Because the motor bella is at L1. You see what I'm saying? It's what? It's, 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 it's at L1. It's in this yeah. And they're good. But, but my question is in the is it? But it's not coming up here. You know? Right. So that's why we're, we're offering what we're offering in that way. Right. We can. There's only a certain amount of places you park in the area. And they're allowing people to let people park in their place and charge for the parking too. So there will be more people come, coming in the area has there because Motorbella is a national event they created. And it's not excuse me, I correct myself, international yeah. event. So again, I'm asking the question the only way that you can get your answer. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I don't have the answer. Mm -hmm. I'm proposing that it would be a nice gesture to say that the library understands 
that they do not have to uh, promote the downtown. They don't have to uh, consider possibly giving a donation to the library that may be bigger than uh, renting a parking space. Right. And also what we talked about with Airbnb parking, uh, probably getting parks or whatever it may be. Because people are going to be under parking lot of the library and also vendors at the library. So when we get out, we kind of stop here first. That way that money can go back to the library. Even if the library wanted to open up a concession store. Why would they come here when M1 is way down yeah. the way that they want to come here? It's not enough parking. It's, no, it's yeah. not enough. You have to pay for parking. Mm -hmm. It's not enough parking. Number two, I want to make sure I got this. But why would they come this far? Like a whoop. Yeah, because a whoop work. The loop. They, everybody's going to want to move in. Yeah. It's a big thing. And that. we sit right there. We are hoping that people will come to our downtown. We are hoping that people will appreciate the beauty of the city of Pontiac as opposed to just staying on their compound. We are hoping that if we can bring business into town, that's gonna to generate revenue, that's gonna generate tax dollars, that's gonna allow us to do more for the city, for lighting, for snow removal, for the infrastructure of our city. So is it gonna be a shovel that would take these people? I don't know the details yet. I, I just kinda, of, my question, the reason I ask that question is because people are gonna be parking here, then they have to have a way to get back right. to in one right. right. So there has to be a way. You can't tell me that it's already true that they have not already. Well, I'm sure they have. I, I, I don't know. It's already. It's already yeah. I'm just trying yeah. to make sure this is uh, everybody is. Yeah, I'm I'm just, I'm just, I'll go ahead. Because I've got the list. I'm, I'm entertaining it. But keep going. You're saying that I'm sure there is a shovel in place already. So if they're paying a shovel company to bring people to it reminds me of when the Congress first came about and they brought $1.25 million that's for the summer and they gave the city of Pontiac $25,000. Mm -hmm. Slap your face. Mm -hmm. So when I hear you say give mm -hmm. them these parking spaces, this is an idea. This is, this is a suggestion. We don't have to I'm come up with a plan. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying this is a suggestion, but I'm saying the reality of it is it's still the bottom line has to be the reference. And they will be getting the revenue of the people that are coming from the shuttle to their own time. Absolutely. Which makes us like, here we go again. So, us bringing the parking spaces out, um, how much money we would make by the thing that that's probably as long as we get 15 of these people here, people that bring outside the jobs of 25 people, 46, 400 dollars, depending on how we have to park there. So, the Christine parking, if you go for local people that have, of course, you want to park their car out here. They will pay top dollar because it's going to be uh, important to be the shortest. And number two, just to add this, like the thing, there are free concerts that they're going down there this week, so they're still going to be down downtown. Downtown, down which is one of the folks who want to go to concert. So they're, they're going to be parking. It's all like it. it. So, you want to do part of the entertainment downtown right Yeah, or with you, you still get the donation of which is say $25,000 for just letting so them do the part of the I'm sorry. Yeah. So, that's why I asked for the concert that they're having. You are aware of that. Okay, great. So, there's concert downtown. Every restaurant downtown is There's a limited amount of parking. My question is very simple. Like, that don't make sense to me because we've given them just because they got tax right off, they got tax incentives. They the can't. city of Pontiac gave them, tax. we have never gave them anything. No, no, no. And they have never given us anything. We've never asked. That's the whole point. <laughs> all, of all those people that have their counter condos are paying taxes for the city of Pontiac. I wish Mr. Bass could, but we just had to meet about this town. Yeah. They are all paying. We had property that sat dormant that we were making nothing off of. In fact, we were paying. Okay. We're not talking about the library. We're talking about the library. We're talking about the library. I'm not talking about the library. I'm talking about the library. I'm talking about the library. I get it, but you said we, as in so, the library, has something to do with the tax. No, no, no. When I'm, saying, let me say what I mean by I'm just talking about the library. Right. So, what I mean, yeah. we is this. Um, it's an opportunity to create revenue, whether we like it or not, that conversation has to be there. And that's what I brought up the conversation. I'm cool with everything else except that right there. Okay, that's so that's why that's why we I mean to okay. the library has never had received a donation from anyone in council. We never had no no that's not true. Um that's Who not has? true. She did. 
Yes, so that's you ask for them to uh and what to give us. That's not true. You can ask the questions I know it's not true, but you can ask them but I want to clarify. That's not true. And so okay, from this what you say ask <laughs> so when the last community comes into the place, it's a young man that works with him and you know, they want to go to the library floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we do a lot of things. Other thing that I want to say is that the last point I could they were just going in downtown. So we just made a sign. Mr. Hawkins. And someone else were actually running the parking lot and collecting the money and turning it into the library. And they weren't taking any money for that. So, like the events that are happening on the weekend, where the library closes at 5 30, and people are coming and using our parking lot, we actually had them collecting money for people parking in the parking lot. And they would volunteer, they would not receive any money for that at all. So, like, you got the events from, from the folks or anybody else that's having events. Volunteers come to spruce up downtown Pine or the public library. Oh, All we had, we never had that. You never had to ask the board for permission. You only have to ask the director. Okay. 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 Yeah. So I'm asking. No, I said the passport. I said, do I need their permission to do this beautification? Um, 
intensified to keep that information. Because I never needed it before when I did remotes or anything like that. All I needed was the direct uh, permission in the, in the fancy mode. So the previous one, I'm going to talk to you about this right from here. This is what happened previously. Here, Earl has had an interest in the library over the years. And on his own, he came down here and he uh, did stuff. But I think he put out knowledge. I don't know if he put out paint. No. This is what he had done on his own. What I am saying is, this needs to be done, but it must not be done under any, any yeah. reference to a political race. That's okay. That's what's different this time period. Yes, yeah, I understand. We can't do that. We can't do that. Uh, it would have to be done uh, under some kind of name without a reference. To a political it would just be Perry and Carrie Jefferson without the well, candidates. No, we just take our names we just take, together. Oh, we just take our names oh, off of oh, it. And, oh, it's, and it's still be a still just a community event. That's it. Mm -hmm. I've been doing things like this my whole life. This is not yeah, politics to me. <laughs> this is the library. Yeah. It's not and politics. My yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. the concept. And what you're pointing out, what needs to be done, needs to be done. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. So we start. It's got to be done in a non political environment. Absolutely. We haven't promoted it as a political event at all. But that's the way we didn't promote it to open university as a political event. <laughs> None of that. We put, only thing is, that is the pay. we never showed this first page to open university. We just told them, we just told them that, huh? I'm sorry, may I please you submit it? Uh, you copy and just take our names off. Yeah. I'm I just want the work done. This is not about politics. Well, you can make it about politics all you want. This is not about politics. Yeah. Yes. The only reason why this is being so is because of the present, the representation of the So that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, I didn't say anything that was beautiful. No. 
Yeah. When you said there are things that, that, that were, you were making reference to the beautification, and you said that things that were done that were just between me and the director, and I'm saying that's not true. And you go back to the minutes, you'll see that. Yeah. So, as far as flowers, pumpkins that were donated to the kids for, for Halloween and all, all those things were donated, they were brought before the board for them to have a comment on before anything was done. And that, and that's why even with the the uh who spent the money. Your question. Why are y'all getting so offended? No, not <laughs> not this not is listening. crazy to me. Yeah. No, I just want to do the work. That's it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I said things were donated. Yeah. Okay. And I brought them before the board before anybody did any planning or did any donation. It was brought before the board. It didn't come directly to the to the director. It was done in an open meeting. Okay. And it lasted up until um, the new board came on. Okay, so all stuff was free. And all of those uh, containers out there were full of water, fresh waters. Okay, and, and the fall mums and all of them were all things that we know. Yeah. There are things that occur. Three months later. Doesn't have to. Yeah. If some if there is an individual or an organization that wants to come in for this guard and pick up the tab, we don't understand how that necessarily happened. You show me the rule where it's saying that I'm supposed to write the beautification when you do the part of the And I'll back that. But I guarantee you in your rules, it don't say that I have to come in front of the board. In my rules? In our rules. The board. Yeah, yeah, board. You board. Said you. Okay, you're bored. Why? What you did, Mary? <laughs> People are getting ready. so like I don't know why it's so hard right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what are you saying? I think at this point we'll probably postpone it because we'll move forward to other locations. Because if this is a library, this is a public building. It should be insured, no matter. Who comes on the property, whether they're coming to volunteer or not? I understand where you're coming from, but I don't know that that's relevant to the uh, and and just for comfort's sake. Yeah. Then I think you should you should contact your attorney and find yeah. out if volunteers come on the property and they are not uh, covered under the insurance. So since we have two other opportunities yeah. to do this. I think we'll postpone. And we chose to do the downtown. We just happened when we got to the end of the road, the library was right here. So we just chose to add the library onto it. So it doesn't, the library doesn't have to get beautified. You guys can choose to do your own beautification. I'm just saying. I, that's so all. Two more. I want to make sure I got this right for services. We have two more days that you have to finish. Two what? Two, two more days. days. August 27th, September 11th. That's so, when actual work would be occurred. Ash, but the beautification could start this Saturday from 9 to 1. 60 pre med um, mm -hmm. volunteers or interns planning to come to beautify the downtown Pontiac area. So we just chose to add the library on to that. We are spending our volunteer time, not only because I've been trying to get this organized, I'm getting all the aspects of it organized. And I will be here on Saturday as well, 8 o'clock in the morning, to get all this together. So, you know, we've got 60 students coming. We're feeding them. We're making sure we've got a, a first aid station. We've got all the supplies that we need. Goldman Walsh is helping us out with the uh, mulch and equipment. And it's not a small undertaking. We have 60 people coming. Oh, no, no, that's, I mean, we all do want to sit. Okay, but we have to make that decision. Um, I don't know nothing about this event that's going on now. And I don't even know if the green speech is coming this year or not. Um, yeah. 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 It's coming. 
The dream food is coming. I know people coming all the way from Tennessee to see my dream food. Please. Because I really haven't heard anything. Uh, so our biggest concern is whether there would be traffic coming through here that we would be able to rent our parking lot to, well, we as correct. opposed to just giving it up free. We can put a sign, signage for that. Huh? We can put a signage for that. Sign? Signage to let people know that the library is written in parking lot. But do you yeah, think yeah, we yeah. have we pay, we pay, we pay, we pay, we pay good money to have badges made and signs made about the public too when uh, Mr. Hawkins is doing it? Well, we can do it that well, to, to, to promote, to so let people to find it. But like you it. think people will be coming? Absolutely. Down I have five promises as to me that is a kind of time of business to the presidency. It's going to be John Wilson. It's a whole week. I don't want no parts of him because I don't know why we embraced him didn't to bring something in here after what he did to us. <laughs> and I don't care if I am being reported. It's it's a it's it's a week long event. That's all if you want, if you want, that's all. Which one is the week long event? The, the whole the whole motor belly. What we talking the about? The motor belly. Yes, we which know. is in September. Yes, ma'am. Yes. When it starts getting cold. September twenty first to the twenty seventh. When it starts getting cold. <laughs> yeah. So we want to have our what I hear is we want to have our parking lot available. Yes, ma'am. For charging people. For this also we have to understand. Yeah. To M1. So this is another thing we have to understand. We're going to have residents come to the library, patrons every day. Mm -hmm. But what we got to keep in mind is that some people that's just going to park at the library during our business hours and just. So we got to have those people out there. We going to rent the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we actually had a a party in place. Yeah. <laughs> you know, having the consideration about who was parking during regular hours so we could be down the road and I actually have to pay yeah. money. So all of that was taken into consideration. So finding the can got to be created right away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the size of them and pay for them and everything. And you know, the made and all of that. Finding the can. Yeah. But um <coughs> what about the rest of this? The beautification, the, the great so the beauty, the beautification can start Saturday. But that's just a yes or no. That's up mm -hmm. to you guys. But any signage or the the, the the parking lot getting done, us repaving the staff parking lot, any of that would have to wait. Okay. You see how terrible the all the weeds. Can't take all the signs. Oh, you said the weeds. So oh, we already talked to. Take what time? They tell the signs about how we're the one that's on the capital. That's the city. We already talked to the two where, administrators where already. Is our, somebody I'm already did something you. dealing with that. What page is that on? Page two. No. Yes, ma'am. What do you see that about? No question. And we moved the 2001 uh, signs on North Town Road that occurred some years ago. And they say they talked to the city. I'd have to go to it, but. That's soccer. Yeah, that's soccer. Soccer's 1995. 2001, they put uh, boys playing basketball. Yeah. And that's in here? Yeah, it's in here. Can I come by and get a juice here? Can I come by and get a um, not tonight, but oh. I, 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 yeah, we close at three. Ginger beer is nine alcoholics, so we're being recorded. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we don't have told y'all. Hold on, hold on. We don't have closure on this. Okay. I need closure on it. And what I know is, um, we're not going to make it political. So, um, 
I mean, you can put your names or if you have the name of a group. No, we will take our names off. I just need to know, are we moving forward Saturday? Or That's are what we I need to know. Are we buying into this? We removing this, giving complimentary parking. No, 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 no. You don't have to approve the parking yet because we still, it's still other dates. I'm just talking about the beautification part. So I need yeah. closure on this. Yeah. What are we doing? I'm in support of the motion. I she can't, can't make a motion. I said, do you need a motion? I think we should. And I think we could. I make you the, motion. the motion. I make the motion to approve the beautification portion of this proposal that Carrier and Kenneth Jurgensen has presented to the Pioneer Public Library. Supported. Any discussion of what? We'll check on all the other stuff about I appreciate it. liability and all that. I'll get with that one. Yeah. And I think this is no different than friends of the Pontiac Library coming here and doing something for, for the library and any liability that might be uh, pertaining to them. Okay, any questions? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thinking of the library like you always have. But you have to get through the political parts. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And be careful um, as it relates to that. Because we definitely need some work. We were out here putting up flowers. You saw it. Yeah, I just said for the um for for June tenth. This is an amazing idea. I just want to make sure. This is amazing. I think you should be a part of it. Now, what is I this two thousand twenty one with the green team okay. committee? Who yeah. puts in that? I don't know nothing about what? it. Yes. Yeah. No, this is where we on the right. Why you if you would assume to agree to this to the previous board? Yeah, I can do the same board and then we do it here. You see how each one operates in the building, parking, and then you can do this. And then we're so close to the event coming. So that's why we need to do it. All right, do I have volunteers for that? Because I didn't even know till tonight if the green food was even some basis. I love her. Right, and I will add myself. That will give us three. But I don't want to be the head of it. You got to vote for him and vote for Okay. So we got that established. We'll look for a meeting called by you. Is that correct, Rosie? Yes. All right. Now, action item: bookkeeper service agreement. Now, I asked Mister Harden to stay here because I I don't know what meeting I was in, but I thought we were pretty much in agreement. I even signed a document. That's what I thought, but then somebody got me confused. And so, but I had to wait because someone told me that we didn't approve uh, of this. So, oh, no, no, we're happening. That's why I got it, votes. Got it on the agenda. I think that's what you're talking about. No, we thought it was in the agreement. I think it was in the agreement. I make the most to approve this uh, contract with, the, with my homeboy. Mr. Hart. Mr. Hart. Is there support for that? Vice chair of support. Vice chair of support. Now, discussion. Yes, Rosie. Um, 
one year contract. Any other comment? Yes. I can yes. But in the meantime, I'm going to operate like it has. But, uh, uh, can we get more people at the next meeting? This says the client agrees to pay the bookkeeper $2,085 per month. Uh, Edmund, we're going to pay him that for the uh, month. What is month is this? Is July? We will pay this July and August. I'll put it back on the agenda. So we will pay that fee. Okay. Yeah, Just a minute. Okay, the library director job description. We've got to post this uh, to get uh, the library director. <coughs> um, we have the interim director, but I thought we were going to look at for a director job description. I thought I just saw it. This is page three. Just saw it. On page 26. Okay, now on page 26 and 27, this is what we have down as essential duties, job summary, qualifications and requirements, and physical requirements, the application procedure. So I open it up now for discussion. We do an approval of the library director job description and the salary. I think the salary is 60. I might have looked it. Oh, but I thought we had said 60,000. Um, yeah, so Well, I'm opening it up for discussion now. But the 60,000 is um, submission. Huh? But the 60,000 is not submission. 
is not sufficient. No. What should it be? Wasn't that what she was getting before we gave her the $20,000? She was at a pay. As far as I know, she was getting out of interim and then, yeah, well, she was director in the beginning. She was being what? She was being underpaid. That's why being on the Survey for all library positions throughout the state of Michigan by class of library. And within that, there's both um, position director as well as staff assistants and so forth. So you can easily do a mean analysis to get the average, you can get high, low, all that information was in there. Okay, I'm going to put this on the agenda for August, uh, unless you want to have a special meeting uh, for this. I want you to take this description out of your notebook. I want you to take this, and uh, that's page 26 and 27. I want you to take that out of here. I want you to take the minutes for June 24th out of here because we couldn't vote on that. And I want you to take that and read it. Take it out of this book. Okay. Isn't it on, isn't it in anybody's email? No, we're taking this out of the No, you got to read it. You to read. You can just read it out. No, not right now. They have it read before the August meeting. Oh, it's 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 no, we don't need to read it. What are you saying, Edwin? I'm saying the job description was emailed to everybody, so they already have an electronic copy. Okay, and they have an electronic copy of the June 24th no, meeting. No, that is what happened on the email. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the board packet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you don't need to take this out, yeah, but the way people were acting, we haven't seen it. So that's why I say take it out of here. I think we just disagree to read it. But I think the job description originally I said to you. The sound of the That's why it's on the board meeting. You said you had the So now I either can call a special board meeting uh, just for those two items, or we can wait until August. So, my thing is, are we against keeping him? He can't do it. He can't do it. He has to call him a place. He couldn't do it. I just said that because he did that alone. Oh, no. Yeah. I would love it. 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 Last week, in, uh, August, August, 
I'll call a meeting for next week. I guess. When will you be back, Rose? I will call a meeting after the 8th of August. And I will get with him in the next couple of days. So you will be notified way in advance and we will send it out to you. So would you like to have Mr. Hart create that? I'm going to call Mr. Hart and we'll get it worked out. And I'll so let you know what I need to do. The library is actually now because it's prepared to work. We got to go by our size. Okay. I know we're about to say that. I don't understand that. It's not, it's not a comparison of library by oh, size. Yeah. It's a comparison <laughs> by class. Yeah. And it has all the schedule of what everybody's getting paid within that class. You mean for German? I will entertain the motion for the Thank you for your consideration. Thank you. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 w